Your journey with Explorer HDTV starts here. If you're visiting for a weekend or you've been here all your life, Explorer HDTV will guide you through the best places in the Northwest. It's time for an adventure. Welcome to Explorer TV. I'm your guide, Christy Gordon. There are a lot of small towns in the Northwest, but not a lot of true ghost towns. We're in Old Molson, Washington, where we start our adventure in Okanagan County. Through every door, around every corner in Molson, you might meet someone, shall we say, unexpected. This relic of a town is near Oroville, Washington, not too far from the Canadian border. Its population? Well, let's just say the residents keep to themselves. Molson was originally a mining camp during the gold rush. It became the boom town of the Okanagan Highlands until a farmer claimed the town site as his land. One by one, the people of Molson disappeared. Now Molson is a ghost town museum. You can walk through the streets and visit the original bank, see how a homestead cabin was set up, or make your case at Molson's law offices. The Molson ghost town is just one of many historic and scenic places you can visit while in Okanagan country. That's whoa! A good home base for your Okanagan adventure is the Eden Valley Guest Ranch. We tell you how far it is to every lake, how big the lake is, the predominant species of fish, where to go hiking, um, wineries, golf, museums. Eden Valley has 10 guest cabins, each with its own kitchen and a homey lodge for gathering and good food. But most likely, you want to be out on the trails on horseback. Okay, now when I'm going to stop... Ranch owner Robin Stice and guide Sasha Torwick can bring out the cowboy or cowgirl in just about anybody. The ranch even has extra boots, just in case you forget yours. You'll ride through green meadows, covered in wildflowers, shady forests, and open fields. Every day on the trail is different. But every day on the ranch is Eden. If your idea of paradise is on the water with a fishing pole in hand, Okanagan County is the place to be. Fishing on the Metow and Okanagan rivers is hard to beat. I'd say it's world class, man. <laughs> it's... You can find fishing guide Brendan Pasley on the Metow River just about every day. His Globe Trouters Guide Service is one of many outfits that can help you have a successful day on the water. Catch frequency is very high here. Um, if you've never caught a steelhead and you've tried a lot, your chances of catching one here are a lot better than, say, some of your coastal rivers. Oh, it's a beautiful place. I can't even put into words the feelings that I get from the mountains and the river and the water. I mean, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. The scenery just begs to be discovered on the Okanagan River as well. Fisherman Greg Bennett, owner of the Big R Fly Shop, has been fishing these waters for more than 20 years. The Okanagan Valley is kind of a hidden jewel. People don't know about it. They don't think of it as a fishery, and that, but it's one of the best there is in the state. Another best can be found at the North Cascades Smoke Jumper Base in Winthrop, Washington. This is the birthplace of smoke jumping, and these highly trained firefighters who parachute into a wildfire are the best of the best. The base here is the birthplace, 1939. The Forest Service um, was experimenting with the idea of the parachute for many years, and it just a lot of the folks at that time thought it was uh, crazy. The smoke jumpers here want to share that history with the public and they offer free tours of the base every day from June through October. And that's what we like to share on with the people of the United States of what we do. Uh, we work for them so we want to show them what great resource the smoke jumpers are. From smoke jumping to horseback riding, fly fishing or ghost hunting, Okanagan County is something for everyone, and it's waiting for you to unlock more of its secrets. For more information on Okanagan County, head to okanagancountry.com. Well, the ghosts are kicking us out here, so we're going to head up into the hills outside of Winthrop, Washington, to the Sun Mountain Lodge.